Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.13 on a Mac. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get shaders up and running on your Mac in 1.13. But first, don't forget to check out game servers. The first link down below. The breakdown.xyz slash MC server. You're going to be able to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just $1 per month from game servers. We personally use them we personally love them so go check them out again that is the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash mc server nevertheless let's go ahead and jump on into this tutorial so the first thing you'll want to do is click the second link down below which is going to take you off to here which is our uh, shaders download and tutorial it's actually a tutorial on how to install shaders but what we're on this page for is this download button right here we want to go ahead and click on that green download button and it will take us off to silder shaders now, Silder Shaders is my favorite shaders pack here. You can use any shaders pack with this tutorial. This is just the one that I like. I personally like enhanced default shaders. You can typically see screenshots right there, but it's not working. But I'm going to come down here, Vibrant Shaders, and uh, Silder's Vibrant Shaders Medium, because uh, this is kind of an older PC here, is uh, what I'm going to be going with. And if we click on it, it's going to take us off to AdFly. Now, I do want to say this. Do not click anything on this page whatsoever. Whatever it says, don't click it. You're just going to wait five seconds, and then the top right, you're going to see a skip ad button. Click that, and it's actually downloaded some stuff down here at the bottom that we don't want. You see that? It says discard down there, and it's downloaded another DMG file. We don't want any of this crap, so just go ahead, click discard on that one, and then delete the DMG file off your computer here. It's not hurt your computer in any way. It's just a trash download. So there you go. Now, we're on Mediafire, and this is what we actually want, is to be on Mediafire. It says Cylinders of Vibrant Shade right there and as you can see it says media fire in the top the big green download button over here is what we want to click so let's click it now it's downloading shaders for us down there and as you can see it says cylinders vibrant shaders dot zip that's how you know you've got the correct file but we still need to download this optifine so uh, to download Optifine, go to the third link down below, scroll down, you see the big green download Optifine button, click that, takes us over to Optifine's official download page. Now as you can see, it doesn't say Minecraft 1.13 on this. However, if it does say Minecraft 1.13 right up here at the top, right there, then this is what you want to do. Just come down and click on the mirror under this first, basically, download link and click a mirror right here. Now. Otherwise, you want to click preview versions. Right now, when I'm uploading this tutorial, Optifine is in a preview version. You just want to click a mirror next to this preview version, right like that. It's going to take us off to our Optifine download page here, where you just want to find this where it says download Optifine 1.13 ends in .jar. It might be in between all the ads, but click on that and it will download Optifine. This is a file that we definitely want to keep. Now, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and if we open up our downloads folder here, we have Optifine and it's a jar file. So go ahead, click on that jar file, and it'll say it can't open Optifine because security and things. It's an unidentified developer. Well, go ahead, click on OK, and then we want to hit Command and Space at the same time. Type in System Preferences, hit Enter, and we want to look for Security and Privacy, which is right here. Click on that, and then down here at the bottom it says was blocked. Optifine was blocked from opening because it's not from an un if it's not from an identified developer. It's from an unidentified developer. Just go ahead and click open anyway, guys. Then you might have to enter your password and click open again. And now it's going to open find the open the Optifine installer. If uh, this doesn't open, if you have any issues, then go to the fourth link down below. This right here, how to download and install Java. You need Java on your system, so just click the yellow download link, and you'll be good to go. Go. Nevertheless, once you've got Java installed, once you've got the Optifine installer open, installing Optifine is very simple. Just click on the install button. Boom, Optifine is successfully installed. Click OK, and now we just want to open up Minecraft. It's going to open up the Minecraft launcher here. We want to make sure that it says Optifine down there at the bottom by clicking the little green arrow and selecting our Optifine profile. If you don't have an Optifine profile, click on Launch Options at the top, and next to version here on any of your profiles, just click on uh, Release 1.13-Optifine, click Save, back over to News, make sure we've got our Optifine profile selected there, and then finally we can click Play. Now it's 
it's going to open up Minecraft 1.13 with Optifine installed, which is actually a prerequisite to getting shaders installed. If you don't have Optifine, you can't get shaders, and that's why Optifine is so important, and that's why we need it to get shaders in 1.13. Nevertheless, we go into Options here, and then go into Video Settings. We can then click on the Shaders tab right there. Then we want to click on Shaders folder in the bottom left, and it will open up our Shaders Packs folder right up here. See, Shaders Packs. Now we just want to click on the Shaders Pack in our Download folder, and drag that into our Shaders Pack folder. It's really that simple. Boom, there we go. Now if we go back over to Minecraft, there it is. Cylinders, Vibrant Shaders, you might have to click Done and click on Shaders again, and boom. Shaders is good. Now just click on the shaders pack you want, and it might give you a spinning beach ball of death or something like that. That's fine. Just let it lag out, and there you go. As you can see, it eventually worked through everything, and it worked. Click done. Click done again. Click done yet again. Go into single player, and boom. We're launching into 1.13 with shaders installed. Let's go here. This is just our test world, by the way. Wow. That is absolutely freaking Stunning. That's a thumbnail right there. Like, holy crap. How do I take a screenshot? I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing on a Mac here. Hold on. How do... Okay, that's, that's not working. Anyway, I can figure that out later. But this is absolutely beautiful, guys. I, You know what? Do you guys want the seed to this world? I, you know, here's the seed to this world. That's how beautiful this is. You guys deserve the seed to this freaking world. But Shaders is definitely installed here. And yeah, that's that's pretty much that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There is the seed. And uh, yeah, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown Tech. Again, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And I am out, guys. Peace.